was great, in my opinion. Uh, it was my first class conference, and I really liked the setup of having a lot of discussions going on at the same time. Uh, being able to also network a lot and find opportunities to, to meet with different stakeholders. So I, I really like this, this day. Uh, the kind of people that were here at the conference, uh, I would say were many housing providers, investors. Uh, we also had a couple of universities on spot, um, and student organizations as our, our own. But I still think there is more room for more partners from different backgrounds to be here. Uh, we talked a lot today about having this holistic approach to, to learning hubs and to the way that we deal with accommodation and what, can, what it contributes to. So I see the conference in the, in the coming years growing and involving more uh, stakeholders in the discussions. It does not only come down to the architecture and the, the housing, but involving also businesses, involving uh, students in, in creating these learning hubs and in being active in these learning hubs. Uh, so taking it out from not only the university campus, but making it a part of the city as well. Uh, five years ago, the, the place of learning would be in the classroom or at the library, but today we see cafes, we see co-working hubs, uh, we see many more spaces where people meet, uh, create new ideas, innovate and so on. Um, for me, a lot of things were new. I'm uh, very much familiar with the education sector um, and the graduates and so on, and not as much with the, the housing sector. So it was very interesting for me to get more insights on why do investors invest in you know, different student accommodation, what is the reasoning behind and so on. Uh, so I think for me that was the, the biggest learning point. I think there's a lot that we can learn on the different practices of the state, uh, of the UK, of Japan for example, we had someone from Japan here. Uh, so I think there are a lot of things we can learn and we can look at how can this be adaptable to our own reality and what is the recipe to make uh, this a successful operation on our own uh, grassroots level. Uh, personally, uh, it was a big value. We uh, just started working actually with uh, student accommodation. Uh, we started doing research in the field of accommodation because we see that it's one of the, the major obstacles of actually going abroad. Um, so for, for me personally, that was a, a great insight to be able to see how does the other side of uh, the coin, let's say, um, motivate and engage with the sector while we're st still trying to figure out and map out uh, uh, the opinions of students um, around this topic. For most of our project, House Erasmus Plus, uh, it's a great innovative one. We try, just as this conference, to gather the different stakeholders in housing uh, to come up with a solution or with some recommendations that we can propose to, to governments, to European institutions, um, to be able to facilitate this integration, to be able to facilitate uh, the learning hub um, experience and implementation. So um, look for House Rasmus Pass <laughs> if you're interested.